another great point about it. The thing about this is it is a clear liquid, but it does have some grit from the real root. And when you taste it, you can taste, if you read the ingredients and you actually research it, you can individually select every single one of the ingredients and taste them. So, you know, most supplements, in fact, will have, it, there's a real number and a number they put it in. So, for example, they can say that it's uh, two milligrams of vitamin C. Now, to get that two milligrams of vitamin C, you might have to put 10 milligrams of vitamin C to actually yield two milligrams of vitamin C. This is the real deal. This is a real balanced formula with all the right amounts inside. And it's no joke. It's not a placebo. It's not a game. This is the real formula that took five years to develop, six years to launch. Our pledge at InfoWarsLife.com is to only bring you the very best research products. That's why we've only put out three in the last eight months. We could have 100 out right now. We've got several others in the pipeline, but it's very hard to get the raw ingredients. In fact, we've sold out of Super Mel Vitality already once and had to wait a month until we got more of the raw wet herbs. That's its secret. That's why it's so powerful. Now, I'll be honest with you. I just know it works. I don't understand how it all works. You need to go to InfoWarsLife.com. You can see informational videos with Dr. Group and others breaking it down scientifically. You can see all the write-ups and the ingredients and all the information at InfoWarsLife.com. And again, uh, this has not been evaluated by the FDA, and we are not saying that it is a drug. It is simply a supplement that we have developed that has given me amazing, amazing results. And by purchasing it, you do support the First Amendment and our broadcast. Again, I want to thank Shane Steiner and uh, Anthony Gucciardi for their great work with Super Mel Vitality. Uh, and until five weeks from now, uh, have a great time and happy weightlifting, Shane. Thank you. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency potency, Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Hey, now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com forward slash show. All right, again, that's Super Male Vitality. And if you want to see the effect on Shane Steiner, you can watch that commercial live now at Infowars. And we've been taking calls on CPAC and what people see the politicians there saying. And we've had Hector in New Jersey waiting for quite some time. Hector, would you like to weigh in on what you think about what you've seen at CPAC? Yes, how you doing? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you for waiting. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, first of all, I think we need to stop worrying about the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to we need to get together here, rally around every government office there is, around every FEMA camp there is, and demand that these people be impeached and arrested. We need to shut this country down and go to them before they come to us because it might be too late already. Yes, I agree with you. And, and that was one of the things, as I mentioned before, you know, when Ted Cruz came out and he said, yeah, I want you all to turn on your phones because I want Obama to hear every word of that. And everybody laughed. And it's like, you know, I know that you don't want to be super serious all the time. But if you're in the situation where you can still laugh about that, you don't understand the importance and the seriousness of that. People need to get angry. I can hear the anger in your voice. I know you waited a long time to say that. People need to understand where we are and how much worse this is going to get if we don't roll this back. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And I think we just need to set a deadline right now. We ain't got much time. Let's say April 1st. Everybody go to the nearest FEMA camp, to the nearest government agencies. Let's close this country down and let's demand their impeachments and their arrest. Yes. That's the only way to start. That's the only way we're going to defend ourselves is by attacking them first before they attack us. It's amazing when you see the inaction in Congress. And that was one of the things in the long interview that we aired uh, last hour with Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson. That was one of the things he commented on. It's like he was absolutely amazed 
at how passive the Republicans have been. Now, of course, the Democrats, you can kind of excuse that in some way by saying, well, it's their own party or whatever, this because of partisanness. There have been, to be fair, there have been some Democrats who have pushed back against the surveillance state, and good for them. They've got integrity, just like there have been Republicans who have opposed the Patriot Act when George Bush was in charge. We need to notice those people who will stand against party loyalty, who value the rule of law, who value the Constitution over their partisan party politics. And we need to note those people and both parties and support them, whoever they are. You know, Hector, I'm looking at this article today that is on InfoWars from Mikhail Thalen, talking about a Massachusetts man charged with wiretapping for filming the police in public. This is the same state that just earlier this week, the court said it's okay to shoot upskirts in Massachusetts. That is not a problem. But if you shoot a cop, when he's cursing and he knows that you're shooting him, they charge you with wiretapping as if you're doing something secretive. You know, wiretapping is what Piers Morgan did. That's not what this guy was doing. We'll be right back with more of your calls. Stay tuned. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even though sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24 7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to GetSimplySafe.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's GetSimplySafe.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Before you slip into unconsciousness Welcome back for this last segment of the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we've been talking about CPAC and what the Republican politicians have been saying. Where is the soul of the Republican Party going to be this next election? Are they even going to have a soul? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Stay tuned. But, you know, here's a hopeful piece of news. This comes from the Weekly Standard. And they reported yesterday that there's a bill to make the fine for violating the individual mandate of Obamacare zero dollars. That's right. Make that fine zero dollars. And it passed by 90 votes. Now, it was all the Republicans and 27 Democrats. It's starting to catch on. 
You know, there were no Republicans who voted for Obamacare. So that's 27 votes more to make the fine zero dollars from the Democrats. There was only one Republican who was against it. That's Paul Brown of Georgia. Hey, people in Georgia, get that guy out of there. If he wants to find people, if he thinks that he's got a right to find people to dictate what kind of health insurance you're going to have and to fine you if you don't do it and to use the IRS against you if you don't have it, get Paul Brown out of Georgia. We don't need people like him pretending to be in a party that is for individual choice or limited government certainly doesn't belong there. But the good news is that 27 Democrats are voting to take this out. And of course, Obama just willy nilly amends the Obamacare Act as he wishes with one executive order after the other, because of course he's the dictator and he has a pen and he has a phone. I want to go now to another caller, Luke in Vietnam. You're on hold. Uh, want to talk about CPAC, things that you see there? Oh, not about CPAC, about something you mentioned on last Friday's uh, show about a man, I think it was from Maryland, who had done an FOI after receiving a letter about a gun grab and was threatened with prosecution. I want to tell your listeners that there is actually a legal framework for prosecuting people who do FOIs in Australia. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, it's, it's uh, Section 60C of the New South Wales Crimes Act, crime of obtaining true personal information on a law enforcement officer, which uh, I like to add incriminates. And uh, believe it or not, there's even a Piers Morgan tie into this. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a poster child for why, you know, that was the thing. You know, you look at this case in Massachusetts where this guy, a 51-year-old guy, here's a cop across the street, I think. Uh, I, I didn't look at the video, but reading the description of the article, he sees this cop, or here's this cop swearing. And he yells out to the cop, you know, stop, stop the language. And he holds up the phone and starts videotaping him. They arrested this guy. He comes over to him, starts cursing on the phone, arrests him, charges him with wiretapping because he filmed the police in public. And, of course, they erase the video so that you don't see it. But that's not wiretapping. The government is telling everybody that there's no anticipation of any privacy for anything that you do in the public. But, of course... Don't try to film any government actor doing something in, in public. Wiretapping is what Piers Morgan did in the UK with his newspaper, where you actually eavesdrop on people. You, you actually go in and tap into their, into their phone and listen to them. That's what our government does to people with the NSA all the time. But you're saying that uh, they've tied in a request. If you get a FOIA request in Australia, that uh, you can be up for criminal charges? Five years jail under Australia's rarest crime, according to the New South Wales Bureau of Customs uh, Statistics. I did a custom query. Two convictions before me, 100% conviction rate, no case law. We don't even know the welfare of the people accused of this law. And uh, the tie-in to Piers Morgan is, he actually wrote an article about the officer that I'm accused of obtaining the personal information on. It's in the UK mirror. Well, he didn't write it. He was the editor of the UK mirror at the time. And it's called um, Boosted by a Lesbian Tiff. You can actually get five years jail for knowing you're a victim of reverse discrimination, crime oh. of knowing the sexual preference of a law enforcement officer. Wow, that's pretty outrageous. But that's exactly what we see all the time. We see the government coming after whistleblowers when somebody points out something that they've done wrong. Instead of a mea culpa, instead of adjusting their behavior, they just double down and persecute the individual. Well, that's it for today's show. We're going to be back on Sunday. Don't forget to change your clocks. We go into daylight savings time here in the States. And for those of you who are listening abroad, keep that in mind. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Live fluoride.